Kamala Harris vows to denuclearize the Koreas, plus more issues with the Nord Stream pipelines. Good morning, I'm Kara Rucker, and here's your Daily Rundown. But before that, we start with breaking news this morning. Russia announced it will formally annex four regions of Ukraine tomorrow. The news comes two days after voting on referenda to leave Ukraine wrapped up. The elections declared shams by the U.S. and other Ukrainian allies. Speaking in Washington yesterday, a State Department official said the U.S. would not recognize the annexation. Vice President Kamala Harris wraps up her four-day trip to Asia today with a visit to the demilitarized zone separating North and South Korea. She emphasized America's commitment to the security of its Asian allies in the face of increased threats from North Korea. The country has conducted two missile tests just this week, firing before Harris left Washington Sunday and again when she was in Japan yesterday. And finally, Sweden's Coast Guard announced today it had discovered a fourth gas leak along the Nord Stream pipelines. The first three leaks were reported earlier this week, with some officials concerned the leaks were an act of sabotage. The pipelines, which flow from Russia, are a significant energy source to Europe. Yesterday, the EU promised a robust response to any intentional disruptions of its energy infrastructure.